Hello and welcome to the Prop Guide Show. My name is Srinivas Rao. To decongest the national capital region, Union Minister Venkaiah Naidu recently announced a 3,250 crore package. One of the many stuck projects in and around the national capital region has been the Dwaraka Gurgaon Expressway. But fortunately, we are seeing some actions in the ground now. So what would be the possible impact of this development? To know more about that, we have Mr. Ankur Dhawan, the Chief Business Officer Resale at PropTiger. Welcome Mr. Dhawan to our show. Thanks, Mr. Uh, DDA and Haryana government officials recently met to speed up the construction of the Gurgaon Dwarka Expressway. How does the expressway influence housing prices along it? See, Dwarka Expressway was first discussed in 2008. And since then, a lot of projects were launched around this particular expressway, which was expected to be done by 2012. Uh, if you see the construction actually started in 2011 only by India Bulls and still not ready. So there are few patches which, which have problems. Uh, one of the patch was close to Gurgaon where the railway overbridge was to be constructed which is under construction. There was one patch where, the, where there is a factory coming in uh, that also has been resolved where the factory has been moved outside of that particular alignment. Third large issue which is just now settled is the new Palam Bihar houses where around 350 families they have their houses and their house is coming on the alignment of Dwarka Expressway. So Haryana High Court have recently given an order where these guys will move to new sectors in 37D or sector 110 which will take one, one and a half year you can expect in rehabilitation. Now the last issue which we discussed is not on the Gurgaon side, is not on the Haryana side, is the Delhi government side. The Delhi government has to acquire some 25 acres of land uh, which will result in 1.8 to 2 km of stretch on the Dwarka side. Now this develop this particular acquisition has not yet been started and I if you look at the current prices uh, they are talking of 40 crore per acre that means around 1000 crore is required. I really think that uh, this is going to be a challenge for the Delhi government to acquire this particular land. Uh, reason being that they don't have really have an incentive to build this stretch. It's more for the Haryana side which is looking forward to this stretch. So I think somewhere they need to find a resolution for this particular issue which they are facing, how to raise the fund um, before this road can see the day of uh, light of the day. As the expressway has been delayed for many years, so the housing prices have naturally you know, fallen. So now, do you think the existing home buyers in this area have good reasons to be hopeful? See, right now I don't think there is a very good news coming out of this area uh, till the time the Delhi side of the construction starts, which is like right now even stuck at land acquisition stage. I don't think buyers will have too much of to look forward to. Uh, and even the prices which you discuss, if you look at the developer prices, they have not reduced it. But they are also not selling at those prices. So it's an artificial price which they have created. If you go for a resale in the same uh, same projects, you will find 20 to 30% discount to the developer price which makes us feel that the investors are not able to exit and the market is in really bad shape when it comes to Dwarka Expressway region in Gurukha. Over 42,000 homes are under construction along the expressway. So how should home buyers prepare themselves when they buy apartments where infrastructural projects you know, are likely to be entangled in legal battles? Very difficult to give any advice to these buyers. Uh, my assumption is most of these buyers are investors and they were buying for, the, uh, for a reason of appreciation and looking to exit at a good price. So such investors are taking a risk and risk can always be in your favor or against your favor. So I don't have any uh, any uh, advice for these buyers to say okay look at these, these things before you start buying a home around a new infrastructure. Infrastructure is a very very risky area. It can take any number of years to complete and we need to be prepared for it. Thanks Mr. Dhawan for giving your valuable time to our show. Thanks Shrinivas. Thanks for watching our show. Stay connected.